Alrighty, one with this speaker 89 and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Last session, we started our journey with Zelda um, as she journeys alongside Tri and the Tri Rod um, in order to try and see what has been happening with these rifts. Uh, and then we managed to make our way over to the Southern Ruins as we defeated uh, the Seismic Talus and also got ourselves the Swordsman. Cool. Um, in this session, we'll be going ahead and continuing on our journey uh, I will as we've got two other rifts that we'll have to kind of explore and see what what's going on there. I think one in the desert and then another one kind of like in the top right corner. Uh, I forgot what that area is, but I will be heading over there and doing other stuff as well, hopefully. So I hope you guys have, will enjoy it. If you missed the previous episodes and other the series, you can check it out for our playlist on my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I can see subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on games like this and any games like the moment. Uh, first off, actually, uh, Lou Berry. Want to chat about the sword, huh? As I mentioned before, the sword of might is my craftsmanship. For a while now, I've been researching a type of crystal that sometimes left behind from the rifts. In my research, I've discovered that it's highly effective against rift monsters. Ah, and it appears you have some of that blue crystal with you. I ended up calling it a might crystal. It's what I forgot this. What I forged the Sword of Might from. In fact, during my investigations into the rifts, I met Link, who's from a southern village. I made the sword for him, and the rest is history. Link's made good use of the sword. Meanwhile, I continued forging things with Might Crystal. In that machine in the corner, I designed it to enhance the sword. Eh, looking at the sword, it seems like it's lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, back to its original state. Ooh, give it a try. All you need to do is bring me some white crystals. Check the machine in Lewberry's house to enhance your weapons. Use white crystals. Ooh. What do you want to enhance? So we can enhance the energy or we can actually enhance the sword itself. Um... We can upgrade the, the energy. We have enough for it, so let's do it. Leave it to me. Go, okay, put it in there. So it'll probably mean that we be able to use the swordsman for longer. The energy gauge is now level two. Yeah. There we go. A little bit of a boost there. Now, then it'll require 10. Hi. I'll be helping, I'll be here helping Mr. Blueberry investigate the rift so we can better support you. Uh. Okay. Please take care of yourself. We're counting on you to find the king, the general and Link. That's what we're doing. Um, I guess, where should we go first? Point. Very good. Oh, look at this. Wanted Princess Zelda, if cited, send word to the King of Hyrule. Oh, this area. Oh, this frame rate. <laughs> Here, take this. Now we have full um, try power. We're pretty much able to summon. Have a better look, use of summons here. Okay. Cool. Got a monster fang. It's high quality too for struck by a monster. You can't use it in its current form. Okay. Be able to make use of the Octoroth actually. Be able to kill it. There we go. The Octoroth Echo. Very good. Um, um, um. 
Plus one. That's all four of them. There you go. Oh, I can just go underwater like that. Probably better to use the spear problem. Get him. Oh, jumped over it. Quickly. It's <laughs> fucking at the wrong way. The wrong fucking time. Get back now. There we go. That's funny. It's a dungeon. It's like a water dungeon or something. Or some kind of... I'm trying to remember from... Past. There we go. Oh, what is that? Ten portions of rock salt. These clumps of salt crystallized over a long time. You can't use them in the, in the current form. I'm sure we'll probably make some use of out, out of that at some point. I don't know when, but... It does feel like there's some crafting going on. Right, we'll make our way over to the desert. Twice there. Oh, that crow thing. Crow, it's just the crow. <laughs> would, have, would, have, would have had some wacky name. This is going to be pretty much a better case, essentially. Roosting on high up spots, this bird monster swoops down to steal people's puppies. <laughs> I just kind of like stuck it at 30 and yep. be done with it. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's get the Ignis. Yep. I'm gonna burn it. Oh. <laughs> I swear there was something like behind. Oh, there would be something behind. Something. Cave. Again. I am gonna just do this too. There we go. <laughs> quite, quite helpful. Ooh, chest. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's one way to do it. 
50 rupees. Unfortunately, I'll say trembling. Desert. Here we are. <laughs> oh, okay. An oasis. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here. The desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now we should we could check around the town. Around the area with the biggest rift. Rift in Gerudo Desert. Oh, there's like a small one over here. And obviously there's like the big one that's near the Gerudo. Oh, it's near the oasis actually. That's quite interesting. Monsters just keep coming. Completely worn out. Uh. I hear you. But if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. Uh. We can do this. We'll get rid of that rift and take back Rudo Sanctum. Hi. The monsters that crawl out of the rifts are tough. I'm exhausted from all the fighting. Although I've been thinking. I heard the rift in Southern Forest is gone now. I hope the ones here in the desert get fixed up soon too. And maybe we can catch a break. Oh, what? The scorpion. Uh oh. On the ground. Go ahead and summon that crow. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh. Stole the rupees. Nice. Aru Roda. Aru, Aru Roda. <laughs> right, it's two as well. This is going to be interesting. No, we'll just summon one. Oh, they attacked at the exact same time. Warm pepper. This is a key ingredient in Gerudo cooking, but you can't use it in its current form. That's fine. It's actually really cool that you can like hold the right stick. Hold down, like click down the right stick and you can do like a top down view. It's quite cool. Alright, uh, let's trampoline. Um, now what? <laughs> I need this to be on a table. There we go. Oh, but now I, I can't get up. Uh... cave. Like an armadillo thing. Uh, we'll summon two. Go with the crow again. Maybe this is a new armadillo. Oh, please. 
plus quick. I keep forgetting that you can also... I know I've just been doing it, but like, holding them in place is quite good. It's a level two version. Yep, okay. A level two. Powerful monster that hurls itself with incredible momentum, flying over holes with ease. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a lot quicker. There's two of them. Alright, sword form. Probably should have summoned stuff first. We'll do that. We'll just do a dark one. And we'll go with like a off the rock or something. Something like that. Oh, we got the rock to rock. Damage. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was a bit dangerous. <laughs> oh. Ten pieces of chili cactus. This item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into it. Yeah, that's something we'll need to find. I'm just going to sleep for a moment. <laughs> oh, how good. section now I guess we'll go yeah it's just shown up all across the desert ever since our sanctum got pulled into one I'm still in shock about the sanctum we've got to get rid of those rifts as soon as possible yeah our town is west of here you should check it out but everyone's on edge there choose the rifts I heard there's a lot of trouble outside the desert too, but we've got our hands full here. We'll probably make, yeah, we might as well make our way over to the small rift, so I don't know for we'll, how much we'll, if we'll be able to do anything with it, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it. No opening. I remember that bloody thing. A statue. Oh, those statues. Oh, whoa, 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 what are you? What the hell? Bloody piranha. There's a piranha. Pretty much. Keep pressing the keep pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. Hold it in place. Nice. Sand piranha. Yeah. Vigorous and quick. This fish-like creature swims through the sand with ease. It cannot survive in water, however. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> Like 
we're making our way to the oasis. Not every day I, get, I see another Hylian in Gerudo Desert. If you're wondering about the tent, about that tent, there's a Gerudo researching something on the other, or other in there. I'm sure she could she could use a hand. If you feel felt inclined, it might help take your mind off all the rifts. Yeah. Actually, she's not selling anything. Yeah. That. That cloak. Oh, my, oh, apologies for my, for my intensity. It reminded me of someone else. You see, I, I nearly got pulled into a rift a long time ago. At the same, at that time, a swordsman wearing a very similar cloak rescued me. Took out wave after wave of monsters as they swarmed into from the rift. It was quite the sight. Actually, the reason I decided to become a soldier. I wanted to be strong like him someday. Yeah. If you ever get lost in the desert, make sure to check your map. Oh, a map would won't do you much good in the middle of a sandstorm. Oh, is that what's happening in this area again? Or now? <sighs> All I can think about is the is the the Lan Mola. Where is it? Mola? Uh, oh, a Lan Mola. Lan Mola is a type of monster that lives here in the desert. Ever found yourself caught in a sandstorm while walking in the desert? Well, uh, the Lamol, um, Lan Mola is the one creating the sandstorms. Pretty sure defeating it would put an end to it, the sandstorms. Although I heard some people say there's more than one Lan Mola. Regardless, I wonder where, the, where in the desert such a monster would be. Where would they be? Where, where, where? Asset doesn't know. Asset doesn't know, and she's the sh chief. But I aid. So where are they? Oh. Oh, just muttering to myself. Sorry about that. I'm Tomali, an oasis guard. Guarding the oasis is my main priority, but I've been tasked with another mission recently. I take I take it you're not from here, are you? In which case, you might be able to help me. Oh. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? According to my boss's re boss research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. Hmm. When scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far nothing. Oh. Maybe you could have better luck though. If you find one, could you bring it to me? Flying tile. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hello. <coughs> business scrub. Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft your own freezing, taste bud pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. Pick two ingredients and I blend them together. So come on now. Let's get to it. Need to make a smoothie? Yes, please. Okay, so here, this is where we, we make these ingredients. All right. Um, let's do... Oh, so this is... When using a drink, it grants the drink drinker resistance to electricity. It reduces the... Grants resistance to fire. Store some of the drinker's energy. Flow for a time. When using a drink, it may produce stronger effects for the drinker. This is resistance to cold. Okay. This just boosts the effects of other ingredients. So, if I was to put like rock salt and the floral nectar, I would like. Strengthen the the energy that I get. Let's do like a yeah, we'll do a grape and a nectar. Ten rupees, okay. 
You got it. Jeez. Some of this, some of that. Mix it all up. A teensy pinch of... Alrighty. Your smoothie. You got a sweet, refreshing smoothie. Does that heal nine hearts? That's insane. You even have nine hearts. If you like it, add that recipe to the menu so we'll be able to order the same thing next time if you like. Actually, giving me an idea. My siblings and I are now the new smoothie game. We're new to the smoothie game. And to keep hold of, over the market, we're opening branches all over Hyrule. That's been so much work that we haven't had time to come up with new smoothie concepts. What will you say to a joint venue? Venture. We make recipes, we handle the business side. <laughs> Come up with 10 recipes out of ingredients from your travels and we should be in good shape. We'll even throw in a reward. Sounds great, huh? Thanks for the help. <laughs> oh, before you go, my siblings are running smoothie shops in other places too. Well, we are all sending ingredients from our local, from our local regions to the main shop back home. Run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? Recipes, please. Eee. Love how this music just continues to play. Um, so we can make like a... I assume we can combine the two. Eee. This. Eee. A salted apple smoothie. So energy recovery, and then it gives us lightning proof for one minute. Quite good, actually. This one will be like a heal, like a refreshing mix movie. Movie. So five plus two. Oh, okay, just healed. Oh, it didn't give me the. It didn't give me the resist fire. Make, like we could make so many different combinations. Salted cactus movie. So it gives us fireproof and then the energy, like half full. Three minutes. Not good. This chest. Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, nice. There's some chili cactus. What's in here? Yeah. Rudo soldiers and dancers used to rest here, but now it's Burma space for mango research. Yeah. Burma trusts that chief era figure out what to do about the rifts here in the desert. So she's keeping her focus on plant research, knowing it will benefit everyone's future. <laughs> oh, make the good. Soft bed echo. Easy, just close your eyes and drift away on this soft, well-maintained bed. Oh, it requires two to summon. Hi. Hello there, Wanderer. Welcome to the Tough Mango Plant Lab. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation in preparation for potential food crises. Uh. My current field of study is focused on tough mangoes. Oh. After much, re much research, we've successfully developed tough mango seeds that grow at a rapid rate. 
Sharing the results of my work should help countless people in the future. <sighs> it's just one little problem. The mango plant withers as quickly as it grows, so I'm unable to harvest fast enough. I can't compile data if I can't harvest properly. At this rate, I'll run out of funding for my project. Mm -hmm. In response, I've begun enlisting folks to help with a little game of Mango Rush. You can easily harvest the mangoes with a bit of force, like, for a, like from a spin. It's a participation fee up, up, up front, but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. Oh. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll need 10 rupees for your participation fee, if that's okay. Uh. Thing. Great, head downstairs from the field and wait for me. Ah. Uh. Mangoes can be harvested with a bit of force, but too much and they'll burn out. Lucky to harvest 40 or more mangoes. If you do, you'll get some. You'll get to take home some. More. Let's get started. Well, let's hope I have the, the power available. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I definitely would need... I don't even know how I got the, the first one. Yeah, we definitely need Link's power. This is working for some reason. <laughs> Same. Yeah, that was not good. Mm. Mm, unfortunate. Then again, when you've been a scientist this long, you expect days like this. Come back again if you'd like to try again. I am sure you can accomplish more. Huh? Curious about my fan? Huh? Back before I was deep in my research, I was a pretty serious dancer. I won that golden fan there by placing first in the dance competition judged by the elegant Chorio. Ah. Uh. I'd be willing to part with it if you help me out with Mango Rush. Ooh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. I might as well just eat this. Yep. Drink this up. Oh. Oh wait, hang on. I'm gonna save the game. I haven't saved it, so. Yeah. Yes, Mango mm -hmm. Rush. Let's do it. Ah. Uh. This will be easy, I reckon. Actually, I need a lot more here. Got it. That was so close. Mm. I need to make. Okay, I'll need to make two um energy potions then. Okay, so you can. But so that's a good thing at least. So you can combine the two potions, like the two ingredients together, the same ingredients. Cactus movie. That's gonna be. That will actually heal me, but it also gives me fire fruit. That's quite good. So if I was to go two rock salts. Beep. 
You got an unfortunate smoothie. It's, it's a bit chunky and smells kind of weird, but it's technically still a smoothie. Uh, that's actually very interesting. Try with the grape. Beef. Rushing mix smoothie. So that makes that same kind of thing. So it seems like the salted apple smoothie is the way to go here. Rock salt, unfortunately going to waste. That's alright. For a mini game, that's okay though. Should be alright. I think these two, it seems like we'll be able to make use of two. Oh, unfortunately, I do need to get some energy back. Oh, there's that sandstorm enemy. There it is. Oh, God. A tornado echo. Probably not gonna be an effective enemy. So we'll go to pros here. There we go. Where's that energy? I couldn't get that rupee. <laughs> oh, that's funny, that worked. It worked the way it did. <laughs> On the other side. A good. Oh, 
problems. That fix the, the Mondays up. Energy for the sword. I don't know why. Very weird. Get that up. Club Orblin. And what's this one? Boomerang Borblin. Very good. What's that? Monster Stone. These strange stones from stones form inside the bodies of monsters. Oh, okay. Luckily, it's like a at all for these enemies. Yeah. Wow. Go get him. Having warm peppers, holy. Back at the waste system, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird. <laughs> I guess we'll have to make one more of those smoothies. There we go. That doesn't really bother me too much that we're using all these just for a one mini game, but I would have liked to have gotten the energy that needed to spend spend it on, on it though. That's okay. All right. Uh, we'll use this one. And we can use the other two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah. 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 Go. Good still. Oh. Exquisite. Oh. You shocked me. I didn't think anyone would be capable of harvesting that many. Here you are. Please take these rough mangoes with you as thanks. Three rough mangoes. Oh. Finished for the first to harvest so superbly. Mm -hmm. It's good. Real good. Maybe she can even handle the extra dangerous seeds. Oh. So actually, I have some vibrant seeds that yield even larger harvests. I have them shelved, but I'll make an exception for you if you want to see them next time. Hi. Come for harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. Oh. Ah, please speak with me directly if you'd like to try Mango Rush. Okay. Yeah. Now we can do the vibrant seeds if we want, but I don't think we'll do that, unfortunately. Oh, that heals a lot quicker. Good to know. Alright, um... I guess we'll get to that big rift then. Just right there. Sane Rift. Dark 
fuck enemies. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. There's the energy. Yeah. Oh, they hit him. Summons that stuff. Right there and there. Oh, it's those zombie things. Oh no. Dead. Those bloody guys. Freeze enemies in their traps. The chest. Red rupee. I remember I got those new hoblins as well. It's probably is better to have. Yep, there we go. Get him. Get that enemy. Many of them. Oh, I see a opening. Place we're going to. Here we go. So it's just going to continuously blow. I think it is. Okay. Well, uh, time to. Uh, Work. Yes. Fully hold it. Push. There we go. There we go. Rudo pot. Probably very similar to the Hyrule pots. The other pot we have, so. Here we go in it and like. Oh, I can't move up. I'll be able to like jump in it. Oh, no, that can't work. Might be able to push. Oh, no. If it wasn't able. If it wasn't getting moved, then yeah, then we need to hold up. Now we can learn the 
wind cannon. Could be very interesting. Disperse sand or d extinguish flames. Oh, okay. That's quite good. As you'll be able to see now. Yep. Nice. And then we can also pick it up and just go around like it's a Skyward Sword. Pretty much. Potatoes. This item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed with a drink. Over to the right. Chess. Ooh, some mite crystals. Two of them. Okay. I'm surprised I was actually able to make that jump. I thought I was going to just fall down to my death there. <laughs> um. Uh-oh. Uh. How many recipes do I need to make now? Five, okay. Another rift down here. All the one. Fortunately, we need the uh, trampoline to get ourselves sort of back up. There we go. Yep. Rudo Town. Okay, this might sound a little odd, but do you believe in do you believe in tornado ghosts? They got caught up in a sandstorm recently when this tornado comes whirling at me. It was hard to see clearly, what with all the sand, but I could swear I saw a face in the tornado. Must have seen a must have been a ghost, but why would it be chasing me? Did I anger the spirits or something? Was it real? Did I imagine it? If I could see it again, then I'd know for sure. No ghost? Well, the only tornado ghost I've got is this one. The ghost? Wait, it's not a ghost. 
torn or tornado. It's a monster. Poor they tore. Poor Nando. Poor Nando. I didn't even realize it was called a poor Nando. Poor Nando. Poor it's called Nando. Actually, now that I get a close look at it, it does, doesn't even look like a ghost, does it? It just chased me because I, it wanted to send me flying across the desert. I didn't anger any spirits. I've really been overthinking things. Oh, well, that clears up. Clears that up, I suppose. Thank you so much for helping me out. Here you go. Pain is a fresh milk. Covers hearts, but it can be useful effectively in drinks. How can I call myself Gerudo when I'm so spooked by something that wasn't even a ghost? The chief finds out how easily spooked I am. I'll get a real talking to. But I mean, we're all, we are all scared of something. I can't really fault a person for having fears. There we go. One out of ghost complete. What's in this room? Hello there. Uh. Weather sure is nice today, isn't it? On days like this, I feel like I could sleep forever. Able okay, to echo anything, doesn't look like it. Or the item shop. Oh. Welcome, how can I help you? Oh. Okay, what is this? Hi. Gerudo sandals. Quick sand proof. These are Gerudo sandals. They are second to none for long walks in the desert. Oh. Hi. Mm. Oh, we can sell the drinks that we've made. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Actually, a very interesting way to make money, I guess. Sell the smoothies. Yep. It's the inn. Oh no, it's not. Yeah. Since the rifts appeared, we warriors have been fighting non-stop, resting in shifts. I'm off duty today, but I might do a quick patrol on my walk. Get you a bit more. Yeah. So, little one, what do you think the next chief will be? Think it'll be Don Dona, don't you? Ooh. Can I help you? It's a rude to stare, you know. Looks at the cat back here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See the woman sitting over there? Oh. She was stolen away a long time ago and she hasn't spoken a word since. Before that she was real lively, a real chatterbox, and she was an excellent dancer. She changed a lot since those days. Rifts are really disturbing things. thing aren't you lovely though you may be you might want to build some muscle if you will be here long you made it all the way here through the desert. You must be quite the explorer to come all this way, which reminds me. Oh. I'm looking for the elusive tumbleweeds. Maybe you've seen them on your travels. You find them blowing across the sand here in Gerudo Town in through the desert. The pesky things roll out of reach, and if you try and grab one, they fall apart. Oh. The more I think about how elusive they are, the more obsessed I get. All I want is to spend my time with observing one of these tumbleweeds closely. Uh. I managed to destroy every one I've found. I dream to observe them 
You're so out of reach. Uh. If you bring me my heart's desires, you'll be well rewarded. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, what is this room? Storage room. Hopefully the flames... Oh, the flames are now softened. We'll be getting a lot of different side quests here. Yeah. Hello there, Hylian. Curious about me? I'm one of the many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to slack on training. <laughs> my confidence comes from my agility and grace. <laughs> I hold my skill. What's with the plank expression? Uh, it's almost if you don't find me impressive. Well then, I'll prove my skill to you in hand-to-hand tag. Mm -hmm. So, ready to play tag, or even give you something if you manage to catch me. Oh. Okay, so, this will be fun. It'll be fun. Let the game begin. Do it. Bruto tag training. Alright, I'm going to get running now. If you tag me, then you win. You can even block the path if you want. Come on, let's get going. Oh, okay, yep. Almost got close to that. So to go down that path, I reckon. I reckon if we circle around now. Oh, the box is not there anymore. Got her. Anyway. Oh. So fast, even faster than me. Impossible. Uh, my, my, but you are indeed cap very uh, capable. Your legs carry you like one who has travelled across many regions. Ah, you have inspired me. Here you are, as promised. Oh, some more chili cactus. Uh, I'll keep training until an. I'm an invincible warrior. Thank you for your impress inspiration. Yeah. Everyone in town is super tense because of a rift has appeared in Rude Sanctum. You, you've been there. A site that's sacred to our people. Just southeast of town. Don't rift swallowed up the sanctum and wait, maybe I should be, be telling you this. I already know, so that's fine. <laughs> Uh, looks like we can actually get on the second floor of this building. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, go on the bed and then we'll jump on here. Put no one in here, that's interesting. Rifts in Gerudo Desert don't seem to be getting any smaller. No, that's no, that's concerning to hear. You need something. Outsiders aren't allowed to enter here. <laughs> Go on, scram. Maybe. 
I might have to sneak in. Potentially. Play more tag, sorry. Yeah, what happens if we, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try the thing that I did before. We'll make a staircase with the, the bed. that works. I guess that somehow works. Um, I don't even know. Let me, let me go back here. Yeah. Only authorised personnel beyond the tier. Yeah. Oh, you scared me. How did you get up here? I'm impressed. I fell asleep during training, so I've got to repair the hole in this roof as punishment. Filled it with sand and then plunged it. And that plugged it up. Kind of sloppy, but it'll be fine. Oh, okay. There you go. Let it go. There you go. Let's see where it takes me. I don't even know where to go. Where the Bumps, pretty much. Yep. Oh crap, I got absolutely squashed. Okay, so I would assume there's gonna be something above. Oh no, there's something above me. Hmm. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. Get that, I guess. I guess that's one way to get it. Have a heart piece. Jesus. Alright, now I need to get my way up. Oh, I actually don't know how to do that. Been a while since we've used this guy. Yep. Oh, summon, there we go. Uh oh, this yep. is good. Yep. Actually this could work, essentially. That's how you do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> bum, bum. Do now, I guess so. Oh, did I go all the way around and like check this part? I don't think I maybe I didn't go in there. Mm. There's a chest over here. For cobblins. Just use a smoothie just in case I die. Okay, come back here. There we go. That was a tough fight. Though so th these enemies will be quite helpful. Level 2 boomerang 
Borblin. In the chest. Ooh. Energy glove. You're not sure what this glove is made of. It increases the likelihood that more energy will appear when you defeat dark monsters. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can't wear more accessories right now. Please remove the first one. Oh, okay. So we can either have it so more hearts will appear. Hearts will appear more often, or we can have it so we get more energy from defeating dark monsters. I think we'll just keep the... We'll go with the dark monsters. It's fun. Dance to you, young. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. <laughs> huh? Friends are nearby. Create a rift entrance beneath here. Come on, Zelda. Oh. You can't come with me, can you? What should we do? You notice we need those digging claws from Skyward Sword. We could try talking to her. Maybe she knows a way you can get through the sand. You're not a Gerudo. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Getting through the sand? Oh uh, no, you aren't getting past me. Only those authorized by our chief are allowed to end allowed entry. Now, go home. I don't think she's going to move. Uh. Oh. Uh. What was that? Is someone hurt? I I have to stay at my post, otherwise I go see I had to go otherwise I'd go see what's going on. Oh, I guess we'll check it out for her. Oh! Is she okay? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's some of these are uh, level 1 organs. You're fighting me, right? There we go. Huh? <coughs> oh, what happened? Monsters, they're gone. you defeat them for me? Huh? It seems they pose no threat to you, yet I, a seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Thank you, you saved my life. Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Don Dona, captain of the Gerudo Warriors. What's your name? Huh? Nice to meet you, Zelda. So what brings you out this way? Ooh. Hmm. See, I see. Traveling around, fixing rifts. Uh huh. Ooh. 
You're fixing rifts? Part of my shock. I just... It's just that the rifts have been causing us serious trouble right lately. We heard that taking care of the monsters would also take care of the rifts, but it hasn't. The rifts haven't, haven't gotten any smaller and the monsters keep coming. Without end, it seems. We could rid ourselves of these curse, cursed rifts, then nobody else would end up getting hurt. Hey Zelda, do you think she might know how to get you under the sand? Is everything alright, Zelda? Ooh. Want to bury under the sand? Hmm. Well, the sanctum is beneath us. Oh, I understand now. You think you can get rid of the rift and get into the sanctum? Oh. Normally, the entrance to the sanctum is where we're standing. As you probably noticed, it's flooded with sand now, so nobody can get inside. Oh. If you want to get into the sanctum, we first need to clear it at the entrance. How can we clear it? Ooh. The soldier is guarding the back entrance. If we go through there, we can clear the sand out. Of course, in Doing that will release the monsters as well. Our chief gave orders to keep it blocked for safety. I'm not sure how to proceed. Oh. You want to get into Yeah, I see. Ah. Oh. Understood. Oh. Well then, it sounds like we need to discuss things with the chief. Save my life, so I'll, I'll do all I can to help you. And if you are able to get rid of the rift, that means our warriors won't be injured anymore. Let's meet at the palace in Gerudo Town. It's just northwest here. Normally only Gerudo are allowed in the palace. Well, in a word for you ahead of time. All right, Zelda, I'll be waiting for you there. Nice. Okay, we finally were able to find what we needed to do. That's good, at least. Um. Ah. It's a soft bed. Oh, the tumbleweed. Who needs it? it was this person over here? Ah, damn it. Unfortunately, we were positioned very stupid, so. Here's another one. So so much, so 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 much. Oh. Ah, seeing it, seeing the delicate dark dried foliage explains why it tend to break so easily. No wait, not dried. This is just a particular type of plant matter. Why are those pokey? What are those pokey bits? Ah, oh. oh, the more I look at it, the more fascinating it is. Oh, I could spend all day gazing at this beautiful, magnificent tumbleweed. My dream has come true. My wish granted. Oh. Thank you, kind one. Please take these. Oh. Two might crystal. That's good. Mm. They have such peculiar shapes, don't they? I hope you enjoy observing them for many hours. Oh, you know what we should do? Probably make a save. <laughs> All right, here we go. Huh? We're training yeah. here. Ah, yeah. Huh. Save it for later. I'm in the middle of training right now. Huh. Huh. Chief Sira, I have a report concerning the locked up entrance to the sanctum. As pre predicted, the number of monsters is dwindling. Yeah. Ah, Zelda, I've been waiting for you. Huh. Chief, this is the Hyaline I was telling you about. With her help, we may be able to get rid of the giant rift here in our desert. In order to do that, she'll need to get into the sanctum. If she can get rid of the rift and, as she claims, we'll finally be done with this long battle. At this end, will you please restore the entrance to the sanctum? <laughs> 
Captain Dona, do not comprehend what it is. Do you comprehend what it, it is you're, you are asking? If you recall, after the sanctum was consumed by the rift, the surge of monsters began. For the town's safety, we blocked the sanctum's entrance to prevent monsters from pouring out. Since then, we've been eradicating the rest of the monsters to fix the rift. After that, we'll reclaim the sanctum. That was the plan. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, Facet. I think it's Facet, I don't know. Many of my warriors have been injured, and the monsters keep coming. To top it all, top it off, we decided we defeated the countless monsters, yet the rift doesn't appear to be shrinking at all. We should be acting with urgency to be rid of the rift. As soon as possible, Zelda can help. <coughs> You can't expect, expect us to trust this total stranger. We don't even know where she comes from. You're the chief's daughter. I'm shocked by your severe lack of judgment. Oi. Please, pass it. Oh. Pardon my words, Chief Sira, but I. Dona. Hmm. Or Duna. I understand the concern you feel for the warriors. Feel each injury in our to our warriors as though it's my own. That said, have you seen this Hylian eradicate a rift? <laughs> I... Hmm. Have own, have, you have only just met this stranger yourself. How could you tell us... To, how could you tell us to trust her? Well, like... <laughs> if zero, it seems further discussion is unnecessary. Now is not the time to be entertaining strangers and their claims. I will prove that what Zelda says is true. You'll be wasting your time. This Hylian, Hylian is clearly deceiving you. She saved my life. How dare you speak of her like that? I trust Zelda, and I will prove that she could get rid of Rips. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how many monsters they fight, Rift is annoying to go away on its own. Do not... Dona is correct about this, but why won't they trust us? Hmm. Boy. I have no time for entertaining strangers. Bassett, continue with the report. Uh? The rifts will be gone once we defeat the monsters. Enough of you meddling, stranger. Well, we'll have to try and prove them wrong, eh? Yep. Here there, Hylian. Ah. Captain Duna left a message for you on her way out. You mentioned that she's heading to the Oasis and she likes you to join her there. Get to the Oasis, head due east where you le leave town. You can't miss it. That's all she's shared for you. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Well, um, I think it's going to be a good time for me to leave it off here, this session. Uh, next session we'll go ahead and continue on our journey through the Gerudo Desert. Um, we'll make our way to the Gerudo Oasis, meet up with, uh, Una, or Dona, and we'll be able to hopefully get into the Sanctuary. So, thanks everyone for watching this, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you missed the previous episodes and after the series, you can check out our playlist on the right side of the screen. The left side of the screen, I play the same games for the past and the moment, so we just see those, you can as well. And in the middle, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on games such as this, any games for the moment. Thanks again everyone for watching this, I've been enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.